Good morning. Today is day 56 of the PCT Nuevo 2022. And uh, I got back on trail around probably 9 a.m. today. Um, the shuttle left at 8.30 a.m. from Kennedy Meadows North. Um, yeah, so it's 11.15 in the morning right now. I've done 5.2 miles. Um, took me a while to get a video in because uh, today the climb was pretty windy and I was leapfrogging a lot of people so I was distracted with that and then there's been, been a bunch of little snow traverses and stuff nothing sketchy but it's taken me some time you know to like find the trail and not bust my ass every five seconds so other than that it's been great it's not as windy down here and I'm loving that um yesterday I didn't get much video in either because it was also really fucking windy <laughs> getting to Sonora Pass, but um, I hiked up Sonora Pass with uh, Kevin, and yeah, he I think I think he's going back and forth on the clips, he's still Kevin, but he gave it a fair shot, um, but yeah, it was nice hiking out with him, because it was a little sketchy, and it was really fucking windy, and you know, it's just fun to do crazy shit with other people, so that was a good time. Uh, and yeah, I got we got to the Sonora Pass probably. Woo! Lot of traffic. Yeah. Um, we probably got to Sonora Pass like around 11:30 yesterday. So I got a pretty good break because uh, it was like a 14.1 mile hike to there, and then yeah, the shuttle came and got us all, and um, I resupplied, did the shower and laundry shit. Um, I haven't had like good enough service to upload any vlogs, so I'm kind of behind on that right now, which is frustrating, but I'll get it done. Um, it's still fun to edit. Um, yeah, but Canadian Meadows North was a good place to chill at for the evening and kind of rest up because my right toe was, is, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's feeling a little bit better today. And then my left calf was tight as fuck. So yeah, I think after a 37.5 mile day prior, um, I needed kind of, I guess in a sense that's a Nero compared to that. So yeah, Neroed. I think I got like 75 miles to like Echo Lake is where my next resupply is. I'm gonna try and do that in three days, um, as long as it all goes well. And yeah, that's all I got for you for now. Um, Sonora, oh yeah, Sonora Pass, like, there was a lot of, like, intimidating comments about it, so, like, I was kind of nervous, like, going up there, and, um, there was really only, like, it was, it was intimidating, I was a little sketchy, but I didn't use micro spikes or an ice axe, and I got through it just taking my time and not looking down, <laughs> and, yeah, all was well, um, glad that's over, though, and... I'm excited to see what the trail looks like from here on out. It looks like this right now. So let's get this bread. And forgot to mention with all the things I was mentioning. <laughs> do you notice something different about little old sunshine? You see that? No fucking bear can. It's a good day. I feel like a million pounds lighter and I've been flying. I'm like a goddamn sugar glider out here. So, good riddance to that. Thanks again, Chris, for donating that uh, to me. Um, but she gone now, she back home. So, now it's time to 
be ultra light again. Good evening. It's about 37 p.m. and I've done 22.9 miles. Um, I'm trying to do another seven. I think I got just like two climbs left. And yeah, just been cruising today. Uh, my calf was kind of bothering me for a while, but it stopped. I think it gave up on yelling at me. And then uh, my toe hasn't been giving me too much trouble other than when I accidentally get kick a rock um so yeah really we're winning today um but yeah other than the wind and the snow patches I mean it's been a pretty nice walk it's um nice and cool out I think it's gonna get pretty cold tonight I guess it'll be in like the high 20s I think tomorrow might be even colder so hopefully I stay warm because I uh, forgot to buy my hand warmers so that really helped me. Um, oh well, if not, I'll just shiver until the sun comes up and get moving and warm up that way. But yeah, today's been nice. Look at all that, look at that blue sky. Sunshine. Alrighty, so it's 7.18 p.m. and I'm walking downhill right now and it is getting cold. Um, I'm 2.4 miles from where I'm hoping to camp and yeah, I'm looking forward to bundling up. And if all goes well, there won't be any crazy river crossings and my feet will be dry tonight. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hola. So it's uh, 8.04 p.m. and I got 0.4 left of this climb to hopefully where I'm going to sleep tonight and to complete my 29.9 mile day. Um, yeah. So if nothing cool happens, I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. And I decided to go, I think it was like 1.4 miles further. So I'm almost there. Hopefully I, I stopped this time. I'll keep you updated. I know Beer Angel, yeah, he's my friend. <laughs> well, what's so interesting is how the water moves. What you doing? You a good girl? <laughs> this is like the mystery spot in Santa Cruz. Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Good morning. Today is day 56 of the PCT Novo 2022. And uh, yeah, it's 9 or 7 a.m. right now. Um, I got 1.7 miles in so far. Um, yesterday, I ended up doing an extra one and a half miles more than I anticipated, um, which made it a 31.4 mile day for me. And oh my God, last night was so cold. I did not sleep at all. I was just fucking cold the whole night. I do, I do remember having like a, a dream. So I guess I did fall asleep, but I was pretty uncomfortable. Um, it's really hard when it's cold like that for me to sleep on my foam mat because like normally if it's warm out and I'm not in fetal position shivering, I lay flat like on my back or on my belly. Um, but when you lay like really curled up tight in fetal position like that on that mat, it really like hurts your body throughout the night. And I was already having some pains. Um, yeah, when I took my socks off last night, my one big toe that's been bothering me looks like it might be a little infected, so I might have to go see a doctor. <laughs> I like popped it with a needle, like a bunch of like yellowish thick pus came out and it doesn't hurt, but I got out as much as I could and uh, just scrubbed it down with an alcohol pad. But um, yeah, it's tough cause like it was so cold. So it was kind of brutal <laughs> cleaning that out. Uh, without a sock on my foot, my foot was freezing and I did have to wear socks last night to keep myself as warm as I could. So I couldn't let it breathe as much as I wanted to, but it's feeling okay today. I popped it some more this morning, more shit came out. Feels a lot better than it did a few days ago. So there's that, gotta get that looked at maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to shoot for a 30 today or more. Um, depending on terrain and snow and yeah, but so this morning was very freaking cold and it was, it was just so hard to get up. Like I wanted to get an earlier start, but I probably didn't get up until an out of camp by 715. So I was breaking down my tent shivering, like just trying to, you know, warm up a little bit, but when you have to touch like your metal stakes and your tent poles, your fingers just go numb pretty fast. Um, so I was doing that and uh, a woman named Nancy and her dog Susie walked up to me while I was doing that. And I thought I was hallucinating for a second. I'm like, why is there, why is there somebody here right now? Am I dead? And she's like, hey, are you a through hiker? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, well, if you walk a little further to the road, there's trail magic. And I was like, oh. and she said that they had like coffee and bagels and stuff. And oh my God, I was so excited. So I think she, she kept walking in the opposite direction because uh, she was walking her dog. So I rushed, broke down camp, walked. Um, it wasn't very far from where I camped to the trail magic. And oh my God. Oh, Rob, Nancy, Michael, Susie, and Alan, y'all are amazing. Uh, they hooked us up. Um, they've been doing this for a while now, but they actually stumbled upon trail angeling by accident and then kind of turned it into this big thing. But so they, I mean, had it all. Coffee, uh, warm sausage, ham, quiche, quiche. Um, toasted bagels with cream cheese and what else? Oh my God, they had everything. They even had a darn tooth exchange, which was so cool. Um, I didn't need to exchange darn tufts, but I looked at them and they had a really cute design. So I bought a pair anyways. Um, cause I figured I might as well have three socks right now just cause it was so cold last night. And I think it's going to be pretty cold tonight too. Um, so I can at least use them as gloves. Um, so I bought a pair of darn tufts from them. And then they gave out these bandanas. So now I'm looking extra, extra fly. And uh, 
Yeah, so that was so awesome. Thank you guys so much for your kindness. That was the perfect way to, um, I guess, get over a cold, sleepless night and get ready for a brand new day. So I really appreciate your kindness and what you do for us hikers. Um, so yeah, I chilled there for a little bit. Got to move on around 9 and um, or 8.30. Got to move on around 8.30. And uh, yeah, other than that, that's, that's how my morning's gone. Um, also, this isn't really important, but I think it's kind of funny. Um, it was so windy yesterday. I went to brush my hair last night and this morning. It took like freaking 30 minutes each time. I have like three dreadlocks from the wind. I accidentally pulled out a significant chunk of hair. So... I might, my new name might be Baldy and so sunshine. Um, <laughs> but other than that, um, yeah, I'm just on the move and hoping to get some miles in so I can go get my toe looked at. <laughs> um, but that's it for now. So the video I made, my introduction video for today, I said it's day 56. That's wrong, sunshine. It's day 57. Get your shit together. So I'm 21.5 miles away from Carson Pass. And you know, sometimes when I'm bored, I get on gut hooks and read the comments um, and just kind of like get a feel for what's up, what's coming up. And uh, I don't know, there's a lot of mixed reviews on Carson Pass here. Um, it's kind of got me wondering if I'm an idiot for sending my micro spikes home. Some comments say it's not that bad. Others are like, definitely needed micro spikes. So, I don't know, I guess that's something I'm gonna have to figure out for myself. Um, but yeah, I guess it only, it gets me anxious, especially when it's like, I'm gonna be hitting that spot around probably 6, 37 p.m. And then, yeah, comments on that, we were talking also about how that section wasn't as bad as the death shoot they encountered the other day. And I'm like, what death shoot am I coming upon? I have not seen any like comments on an area where they're like, warning, death shoot. So that's gonna be a nice surprise. Um, you know, I'm always trying to avoid falling down a mountain um, down an ice chute, but yeah, I guess I'll just, uh, yeah, figure that out as I go. It's all you really can do out here. Um, and I'm hoping the weather holds off today. Looks like there's some chance of snow. And I don't know if I just saw two snowflakes. <sighs> well, I guess, yeah, I think it's starting to snow. Well, snowflakes are better than freezing rain. Maybe we got that going for us today. Um, yeah, but I, it was just three snowflakes. I haven't seen it anymore yet. But there is a dark cloud. All right, now, now I'm just rambling. It's a snow flurry. Well, this one is kind of intimidating. Ugh. 
How do I want to do this without falling? How will I prevail this obstacle? Yeah. Yay me. On to the next one. I clung the snow with my hands for my life. It wasn't that bad, but it still freaked me out. I'm hoping that was the infamous death shoot. If so, I'm feeling pretty good about my life right now. Um, I'll be still, still nervous about Carson coming up, but yeah, we're just, like I said, taking it second by second. It's all you can do. It's strawberry, breakfast essential, and Starbucks coffee time with a hint of cracker, yeah. I let my toe air out for five seconds while I made my strawberry coffee with some crackers, yeah. Well, I just botched a muddy puddle crossing, um, trying to balance on some small sticks and one rolled on me. And of course, the foot that got wet is the foot with the big festering wound on my toe. It's really not that bad, but yeah, that's the, that's the foot I didn't want to get soggy. So I'm doing great today. Um, yeah, but I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of snow. Got a little flurry going on right now. Thank you so much. This was such You're a welcome. wonderful little treat. Well, yay! Hola, it's 4 p.m. And I've done 18.4 miles. And yeah, I'm on the move. Um, I came across a road and uh, there was trail magic. Um, there's a man named Mad Dog and he had uh, cookies, fruit snacks, soda. Um, so thank you so much, Mad Dog, for the trail magic. I really appreciate it. It's so cool. Um, just because I haven't had trail magic in a while. I think it was like right before Kenny Meadows South. And uh, to get it twice in one day has been awesome. So, yeah. Um, pretty pumped. I hung out with Mad Dog and another through hiker named Bubbles for a little bit. Um, drank a soda, had a fruit snack, and some cookies. And now I'm uh, making my way towards Carson Pass. And depending on what time I get there now, will kind of make my decision on whether I attempt to go over it this evening or just camp before it. Um, and then either way, I'm getting to um, Echo Lake tomorrow. It just is a matter of how close I get to it. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm up to right now. Except on me right now so hopefully hopefully it stays that way please mother nature that would be wonderful so 
So I think I'm going somewhere up there. It's looking quite gloomy right now, but I'm gonna try it. Worst comes to worst, there's camping down here, so I'll just turn around. So I'm point nine from the top of the pass. And yeah, I'm about to find out what these little traverses are like, but she's snowing. It's nice out there right now. I mean, other than it's gloomy, which makes it intimidating, but you know, it's gonna be okay. So, I think I'm going up that way. There's footprints through there. I think that might be what people are talking about. Let's see. Yeah, that tracked out spot right there. So, we'll get her done. Alrighty, here goes the first one. You can see where somebody slipped. But right now the traction's pretty good with the kind of the slush and the mix of the fresh snow. So that's good. I made it across the first one. And that one wasn't bad at all, so I think it's the second one that is a little scary. So let's go find out how scary it is. Here's another one. I don't know if this is beginning of that one or not I think there's three there were two that I read about but somebody mentioned three only one was bad so yeah let's find out so I could be wrong but this might be the sketchy one I'm ho I'm hoping this is the sketchy one because it's been pretty it's nice right now for me because of the conditions but let's get grosser So it's uh, 7 or 6 p.m. and I'm going down Carson Pass right now. Um, yeah, if, that, if that's what people are talking about, that wasn't, that was not bad at all. Um, so I don't know if there's something sketchy coming up, but yeah, I'm hoping that's what they were talking about and that I'm well on my way to Echo Lake for uh, beer and uh, not only is there beer at Echo Lake, Dine and Dash is there and I haven't seen him since shit before Cab is on. So yeah, I'm excited to see him cause not only cause it's been a while, it's gonna be his birthday. So I get to party with Dine and Dash on his birthday. Um, yeah. There's a plane. Good things coming my way. The best thing just happened. Look. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Three times in one day. What? 
Thank you so much to whoever did this because this is wonderful. I'm, I'm happy. So it's um, 8.16 p.m. And I've done 29.7 miles and I don't really know where I want to stop yet. We'll see. It looks like there's some camping ahead. I got options. So I might just walk for a while because I mean it's going to be cold tonight so I might as well stay warm as long as I can. Right? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I gotta say though, I mean, it was a little rough start this morning being half frozen to death, but shit has it been a good day. I mean, trail magic on trail magic on trail magic. Views, Carson Pass wasn't bad. And like this evening is just insane. I mean, look. Oh, let's see. I mean, I'm walking into fucking heaven right now. It's this is great. Couldn't ask for a better end to the evening. Um, yeah, even with the snow, it, it was pretty. I didn't get like freezing rain on me. Um, my my toe even though it could fall off it hasn't hurt i mean there's just i got a coors light damn it and quiche who gets who gets quiche in the middle of the woods i mean and oh, such good company good conversations oh, i got a coke today too i'm feeling a little grateful this is, I'm really liking what uh, Northern California's got to offer here. I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of it's up to. And this is the view behind me. Like. What? Look at the snow on the hill. It's so pretty. Good morning. Today is day 58 of the PCT 2022 Novo. Um, yesterday I ended up doing 33.6 miles, which puts me 10.4 um, from Echo Lake. Um, but I think I'm hitching into South Lake, South Lake Tahoe. Sorry, my whole face is still thawing out. Last night it was really cold so so cold i did not sleep very well at all um i was just in a lot of pain it was so cold um i just could not get warm and my bag was just like completely wet this morning um so i'm still slowly but surely thawing out from all that um yeah shit it's so cold, or it was so cold last night, like, I feel nauseous. <laughs> Am I, I don't know if I slept weird because my lower back hurts. It feels really weird. 
or if my kidneys are exploding. Oh, they hurt. But yeah, I'm just taking my time <laughs> and making my way to the road for this hitch. Oh, I'm so excited for it. Um, yeah, I gotta move around 7.26 a.m. I think is what it was. It's about 7.50 now, probably. I don't even know how far I've gone. Probably not far. I'm just kind of hobbling around right now. Um, yeah, last night was really rough. Um, but at least I only got a 10.4 mile day. And then I will re recover. And things will be great. <laughs> Also, um, at the end of the day, it's going to be exciting because uh, I get to change gut hook maps. So I'm finished with the Sierra gut hook map and I'm moving on to the Northern California map. So I'm making progress. Hola, so I'm at the Mellow Mushroom Hostel. I'm in the bunk room and I just got my resupply. Had dinner with Dine and Dash for his birthday. Happy birthday, Dine and Dash. And yeah, um, I'm just packing up and getting ready to go back on trail. I probably got here around two o'clock. So I've had some time to do laundry, shower, get my life together and it's been good. This is a really cool, cool place. And yeah, now I gotta get my resupply in a bag and charge up some stuff. So that's what I'm up to. And I bought a peach. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe, folks. Rain not fucking bad. <laughs> Oh, they <laughs> <laughs>